I agree to take part in this project because there's not really many things out there about, you know, LGBT people without the experience, you know, without how you live being LGBT, where it's just about your life and how you exist and I think that's really what this project was trying to achieve and that's why I wanted to be a part of it. I think something that made me want to be a part of this project um, was uh, the fact that I'm quite involved in queer activism. It seemed like a really good way to get a message across. I guess it's it's difficult when you're young, like I, I would not have come out any younger uh, because I didn't feel, feel safe to. But I think the thing is to know that even though you don't feel brave enough to make choices yet, that there is a future for you and there are people who are going to respect who you are eventually. When you're ready to come out and be who you are, and it's a matter of baby steps and just making choices every day um, that may offend some other people but will make you happy. It's ridiculous to try and be super happy and positive all the time. I think you do need to give yourself space to be kind of realistic and sometimes a little bit sad about stuff because the world isn't perfect when you're a queer person. You are treated a little bit differently. I think there's a lot to do in terms of like um, political and social change as well as cultural change um, within Australia to make it more accommodating for many gender and sexually diverse young people. We are unique individuals, um, we're gorgeous people, um, and within that framework of self-love and self-care, I think we can like stick to some of our aspirations um, and recognising that you know we do have a right to have desires. Um, my name is Sally Davis, I'm the composer for the music in Dear Future Me. The whole topic of the LGBTI plus community um, is something that's really important to me and a lot of people that I really care about. And so the prospect of being able to write some music and record some music that helped tell this story was a really beautiful idea. Um, I think something I would tell younger people is to not be afraid to um, explore their gender and sexual identity. Don't change how you feel about yourself or your identity for anyone, not even your parents. I think um, just the hope in all the letters was the thing that stuck out most for me in this film and when I was reading all the letters and trying to figure out how I was going to incorporate music to characterise all of these letters in the film. Um, what really stuck out to me was this sense of hope and I think the future is unsure for everybody. Even though they're setting goals for themselves, there's just this overall umbrella of hope over all the letters and it was really beautiful to be able to put some music to that. Happiness and success for me <laughs> is rooted in being able to express myself and who I am uh, across every facet of my life without needing to um, hide myself or needing to feel ashamed or feeling, you know, a certain sort of detachment um, or even like having to wonder whether or not I can do something that's as simple as, you know, grieving with someone. So I feel that's what happiness looks for me. Well, obviously I'd like to get married. That would feel like a big success for me. Um, and I totally think that lots of queer people don't want to get married and that's fine, but I, I definitely want to get married. That would be a huge success for me. Um, if I can be a big part of the queer rights movement in Australia, I'd be very proud and I'd feel very successful. Um, yeah. I think everyone needs to be accepted by everyone else, but also I think self-acceptance is really important. You know, statistically, it's going to affect someone you know. As more and more people will feel more comfortable to come out, um, it will affect more and more people. I've made decisions that are getting me closer and closer to who I want to be every day. So feeling brave every day is happiness. And then success, I think, is for me measured in the goals that I make you know, every day, every week, every year that remain important to me throughout my life. And if I'm still achieving like something, then I don't see why you can't be happy with who you are.